Hey there boys and girls, Lucky Skillfaker here and welcome back to another Battlefield 3 video and you guys are seeing it right, there's no blue tint right here, this of course means we're sniping on Venice Unleashed, the Battlefield 3 mod, that actually improves on all the issues that Battlefield 3 had and makes it an even more awesome game. So in case you need a quick summary of what's actually going on, Venice Unleashed is a mod for Battlefield 3 that actually gets rid of a couple of the problems that the game had. First of all, the netcode and hit registration. If you thought that Battlefield 4 would be kind of okayish after they updated the tick rate, you should try Venice Unleashed. They have 60 hertz and 120 hertz tick servers, which means you'll get awesome netcode and better hit registration. Not like a single time when I played it, I had like a single complaint about the netcode or anything like dying behind cover or anything like that. It's just really snappy, really responsive, and it's just like instant. It's so awesome to play on. Another great thing, no suppression. Of course this means you will be rewarded for skillful play instead of just re being rewarded for missing your targets. Which again is another cool thing and an awesome feature. And as you can already see, there's no blue tint, there's no sun glare. And this of course means that you can actually see where you're going. So this was a really quick summary of what Venice Unleashed actually is. If, of course, as you can see right here, I'm kind of excited, sorry guys. Um, I'm using the my trusty .44 Magnum from Battlefield 3 all together with the SV98 and the ADX zoom scope. Um, the color correction this video, however, is not quite as it is in the game. So I upped the contrast a little and I also upped the saturation a little bit to make the colors pop a little more. So I will also post another gameplay in which I won't touch like any of the color settings or anything like that. So you can take a better look on it and what's actually really looks like. But again, no blue tint, no sun glare. So when you're now actually facing at the direction of the sun and you see an enemy, you'll be able to see the enemy instead of just like having this holy halo above the enemy head or something like that. And yeah, so far I've been actually really enjoying this game. Uh, there are a couple of things that made me kind of a little bit sad, uh, to be honest, uh, which would be that I guess not many people actually know about the that you can actually play it. So I once again will post a link in the description down below and you can go there and check it out and see it for yourself. Right now there's still an open beta, I think, to, till the 31st of December. So uh, next year you probably won't be able to play no more, f at least for the beta, um, at least there ex uh, they're extending it, which I don't really know, so uh, I will definitely keep you guys updated in case they will, but yeah. So it's I uh, really had some awesome fun playing this game. Again, the only issue was that not many people were actually playing it, so this is also why you're seeing some, I think, 8 versus 8 or 6v6, or maybe even 10v10. So not many players on this rush server uh, for uh, Strike at Korkant, which... I would have preferred to have like something like 48 or 64 players on because the map is like big enough, it kind of provides the space that you need for that like that kind of amount of players. But it was still very nice to play because you know uh, the kind of the fewer players you actually have in the game the more it's about like skill not just like being overrun stuff so it was actually kind of good still. Another thing is that that really kind of stands me a little bit was that I thought that the Battlefield 3 hardcore community, or at least the people that are still interested in Battlefield 3, would have like matured a little bit more so that we would not have like those M16 A3 whoring anymore. And uh, sad, it's, it's sad to say that there's still like uh, quite the majority of players are still running the Medic Train M16 A3 combo with heavy barrel and foregrip, like level cap told you to, which I thought was not kind of necessary. I still think that the game would be even better now, or but the mod would be even better if they would like do some sort of pro mod. Of course this is not impossible because they actually allow you to use fur mod tools in order to tweak your servers and other stuff like that. So if this is successful, which I really hope it will be, there could actually be a version where you you would have some more like balance tweaking stuff for the gadgets and for the classes, for the weapons and stuff like that. So that it would actually be like the pro mod for Call of Duty 4, but just for Battlefield 3, which I would really love to play. So yeah, um, once again, this is Vanished Unleashed. There's a link to it in the description down below, so if you're watching this video right now, uh, you might actually have some time to still try it out. Uh, you just need Battlefield 3, and you need to link your Origin account with your Vanished Unleashed account. It's not running over Battlelog or Origin or something like that, it's just like kind of... It needs your Origin account to see that you actually have the kind of the game and stuff like that. So uh, after that, you will have created your Venice Unleashed account, and you will do it from there. 
And they actually have separated servers and you can also set up your own server and stuff like that. There's a whole forum and FAQ and all of that stuff on their site that actually shows you how to do it. But yeah, I think it's pretty much all for now. I hope you enjoyed the little sniping gameplay. I was a little bit rusty, I hope it was still okay. But yeah, <laughs> I think it's pretty much all for now, so I hope you enjoyed the video. And lucky Skillfaker out!